This presentation is a part of Audio Adventure Theater. What is here? A new little begun. Yeah. You old sneakster. Oh, I'm almost done here. No one will see these when they walk through, and then they'll get caught up in all these strings. <laughs> oh, they're nice and sticky, too. Ha! I can just see them now. <laughs> what a mess. I'm sure glad I picked up that book about practical jokes at the library the other day. Everyone will become a victim of the wonderful master of tricks while I have loads of fun. And yeah, there we go. I'm all finished. Now, how do I get someone to come without... Professor, can I have a word with you? A what? Oh, here comes Cucumber. Perfect. You'll get all caught and... Oh. I'd better hide before he sees me. <laughs> Coming to my parlor, get the spider to the fly. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that you, Professor? I need to. Whoa! Oh, what is all this? Hey, what? Oh, uh, what? Who did this? Hey, what? Whoa! Ah, uh, help! Hey, what? A giant spider has me in its web. I'll be paralyzed and eaten alive by it. Hey, what? Ha <laughs> ha! My little what fly is, is caught! Oh, well, I hey, don't want to make him too suspicious, so I'd I better go and casually him help him, him out. Oh no, the spider, eh what? This is the end, eh what? Goodbye, world, eh what? No, it's alright, it's just me. Oh, uh, well, what happened? I've been caught in a giant spider's web. Get me out quick, eh what? No, uh, look. <laughs> These are just strings. <gasps> Sticky ones, though. Strings? A eh, what? Yeah. Now, who on earth would want to set up strings all over the room like this? <laughs> That's a good question, eh, what? Pretty naughty of them, don't you think? I don't really care right now. Just get me down, eh, what? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ah, what's that knife for, eh, what? Don't be alarmed. It's just to cut the strings. Oh, oh, oh eh, what? Thank, thanks for getting me down, eh, what? No problem. That was just a small example of what is still to come. Ugh. And Cucumber starts to think someone must be going around the house being a prankster as the theme starts. Hey, what? Adventure Alley Productions presents to you The Crackpot Professor, Episode 19, Trick or Freak, starring Caleb Thiessen as Professor Hassenpfeffer and Josiah Coates as Professor Zimmerman. No, it's absolutely crazy, isn't it? Tell me about it. Oh, really? I was just saying that the other day to the professor. Oh, yeah? Actually, I was just about to go. I love shopping there. I know, I'm absolutely buying some of those. I heard there's a new lady straw hat in stock. I wouldn't leave there without one. Oh, and they just have the best Brussels sprouts ever, like, in the world. And have so, Miss Ferret, I the other day, going I shopping, like, are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Yeah, goodbye. She can't go shopping without her beloved purse. She goes everywhere with it whenever she goes out somewhere, especially shopping. Uh, how about I give her a little <laughs> surprise? <laughs> this spring snake is sure to scare the living daylights out of her. All the way to next spring. <laughs> now, time to wait for my little mouse. <laughs> now, where did 
I put my purse? <sighs> Here? No. <laughs> in and tells Miss Parrot about how he got pranked and that someone must be doing it. Hey, what? And together they decide to investigate and look for clues in different parts of the house. So, you see, George, the mathematical calculations can vary depending on your synchronization of the particles of proton X in Y squared minus E4 and 32. Oh? Very interesting. Yes, so... Uh, hello there, old chips, uh, champs, chimes, chums. Uh, uh, hello there. So so good to see you. I, I haven't seen you in so long. Um, I saw you last night. I, I know, but it, it's been over ten, ten hours. I uh, see. <laughs> Well, don't want to bother you fellows. Oh, oh, oh you're, you're, no, you're no bother. Oh, well, I have things to do. <laughs> well, if you have to. Uh, bye. See you, Hoss and Pfeffer. Anyways, as I was saying... Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll just give them something to cancel out the electromagnetic nucleotidical regions, or whatever on earth it was he said. <laughs> now, this dynamite under Zimmerman's chair will startle them quite a bit. Just a play one, though, not a real one. Now, I'll get back and wait. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I, I forgot to light it. <laughs> They should be. Yeah, no, uh, there we go. Okay, now go back. Oh, sizzle, but oh, oh, sizzle. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm still stunned. Oh, well, take it easy, okay? <sighs> Zimmerman, don't, 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 that, that's not what, you shouldn't do that. And then Cucumber tells them what has been happening, and then he sees a prank book laying on a table somewhere, and opens it and sees that the first three pranks in the book are the exact same ones that someone has played so far. A what? Zimmerman and George join them. Cucumber tells them that he is supposed to meet Parrot and Hossenpfeffer outside on the lawn by the well when they're done looking. A what? He says Miss Parrot is looking outside. A what? They are outside waiting for Hossenpfeffer. And they explain to Miss Parrot about finding the book. A what? And they are just about to read the next prank in the book when they see someone hanging out the window by the feet. 
What it really is, is Hoss and Feather has gotten a dummy of himself and hangs it out the window from the feet and yells for help! And then it falls and lands on the ground and everyone is like, ah! Wait, what? And they run up in a fluster to help him up and try to re revive him, eh, what? And get all scared that he's unconscious and start to call the pandemics to help him when- It's no real person, just a dummy. Someone's played another prank on us. And they read the next prank and see that it's what was just played on them, eh, what? Everybody is all talking and starting to catch on that Hassenpfeffer is playing tricks on them. So they prepare for what is next. They see that it is supposed to be a water can above the door trick next. Hey, what? They decide to play a prank of their own and read the next few lines to put them together into one super prank. Now they don't actually read them to the audience. Sorry. We are now in Hoss and Pfeffer's lab, and they have set up a big prank. Eh, what? First, Hoss and Pfeffer will run in and trip over a cord at the door. And fall on a mattress which will spring up! And send him flying into a net a few feet in front. Eh, what? And then plastic darts will start firing at him! And the sprinkler system will come on! <laughs> and then they'll drop the net into a tub of butter. Eh, what? Ouch! D George, however, t t timid guy that he is, d d doesn't like all all this re revenging stuff, and tries to tell them not not to. But they laugh him off and call for Hassenpfeffer, eh, what? Professor, come quick! Someone is stealing one of your inventions! Oh, oh dear, Th that's not very nice. I'm, I'm going to try to s stop this. And they just don't worry about him, eh, what? But when the door opens and Hassenpfeffer comes running in, George runs toward him, and Hassenpfeffer trips on the cord and slams into George! Oh! Oh. And they both fall on the mattress! But, but jo George's arm accidentally went, went wild and hit Cucumber oh, as he what? fell. And Cucumber falls on the mattress too, eh, what? Then it springs up, and Miss Parrot, who was trying to help Cucumber off the mattress, gets thrown and lands in the butter! And only Hassenpfeffer and Cucumber land in the net! And George is on the floor, and the darts come, and he absorbs all of them. And also Zimmerman, who was running forward, and he falls in the butter too, because he can't see, it because a dart was in his eye, and the sprinkler now starts. And then the net falls, and the tub of butter cracks and breaks off in the butter, and everybody and everything goes flying and sliding all over the room and everywhere. George gets up and says, See? I, I told you no, no good would come of this. Hey, what? Everyone is apologizing in everything for how silly and mean they've been in everything. And then there is a knock at the door. And Hassenpfeffer goes to answer it. And he opens the door and the can of water falls on him. From the trap he said earlier, eh, what? And it is trick-or-treaters, and they are about to give them candy when Cucumber says, Hey, it's not Halloween, eh, what? We know. That's why this is a trick. I think we've all had enough tricks for one day. <laughs> <laughs> Trick or Freak was brought to you by Adventure Alley Productions. You heard Caleb Thiessen as Professor Hassenpfeffer, Josiah Coates as Professor Zimmerman, Renee Thiessen as Miss Parrot, Reed Thiessen as Captain Cucumber, Hannah Thiessen as the Paper Girl, and Aaron Thiessen as George. The Audio Adventure Theater theme was composed by Garrett Vandenberg, and the Crackpot Professor theme was created by Josiah Coates. And I'm Cody Robbins. This episode of The Crackpot Professor was written by Josiah Copes. Come back next time for episode 20, Never Mess with Hassenpfeffer. Hassenpfeffer may have served some remarks about his days during World War II. The colonel asked him to sign a document expressing his full agreement to work for the Allies and his complete disagreement with the Nazis party. You were arrested for not complying with the Nazis! I am going to leave Germany and take you to...
traitor is done with me. Please, please, do that plane. The plane is going down. I mean, shut up. Be sure to check out our website at audioadventuretheater.blogspot.com.